Trying to ruin my prize pumpkins. Have some of this. I'm sure I was licking that dirty donuts kebabs around back at chip shop after. Oh, far too many ales. Oh, it must have been a nightmare. I dreamt that I bought some Razer Nani Ultimate headphones that had haptic feedback in them and turns out you can't use shadow play when you're using them because they're an absolute piece of effing it. So this video, ladies and gentlemen, will be sponsored by them because they're going to be paying me to send my headphones back. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful sunny day here down on the farm, we're going to be learning on how to be self-sufficient. And as you can probably already tell, I've been having green fingers for so long, I've actually turned into a bush. Welcome to Day Z, and welcome to a little bit of gardening. So here we are, green fingers, man in bush. That's another video, I think. I'm going to go through and show you every bit of the materials, the tools and everything you need. And I've got them all laid up here for you, perfectly ready. As you can see, you don't need a huge amount of things. We will need a bag of garden lime, a spade, a fuel canister, some seeds, and yes, a weapon. In case zombies or other players want to get your prized cauliflower. But we won't be having any of that, will we? Obviously. Oh, hell no! Green fingers, we've got a spade. And now it's a matter of finding a decent location. Now it doesn't really matter where you build this. But just remember you are going to need to protect this. You're also going to need a water source. So if your water source is miles away, you might want to go for a little hike and grab some. So here we are with the spade. We're going to put down some basic... What's the word? A basic garden, shall we say. And I put this at an angle just to annoy myself because I have a slight OCD. So there we go, we're going to put these into two sets because I'm going to grow my hardcore drugs on one side and I'm going to grow my veggies, my spuds, my tomatoes and my wurzel gummidge on the left hand side. Past the duchy on the left hand side and that is stage one. Simples. Stage two, we are going to need a bag of Dreco Lime. Now, this is not made out of limes, and you certainly wouldn't want to eat this, because if it was caustic lime, you would melt like that pleb in Robocop. So, keep away from this. And what does it do for the soil? Well, I think it kind of fertilises it, and you can use it for crop rotation every time there's been a harvest. You see, I've learned a few things from playing farming simulator over the years. So that is the next stage. We're going to put lime onto each one of these plots. And when you've filled them all up, we're going to be ready to move on to the next stage. And it should look something like this. Beautiful. Our next stage is going to be the jerry can. Now, if you've already found one of these and you're lucky enough to have some fuel in it, you've got a bit of a decision on your hands. Do you want to save the fuel for the vehicle? Or do you want to get some water and grow your own crops? And whatever you do, don't drink it, because you will throw up. Ugh, too much Nuki Browns. That kebab. I'm sure I was licking that dirty Donner's kebabs around back at chip shop after. Oh, far too many ales. So don't go drinking moonshine. In order to empty this... Look at the ground, basically look down at your privates and then you'll be able to empty it. Now there is a bit of controversy within the DZ community that says if you want to fill this up with water you need to put in some codeine tablets in order to sterilise the actual canister. I haven't really tested this as I haven't been sick in the long run from actually drinking fuel. So why you would get sick afterwards is beyond me. But anyway, here we are down at the duck pond, and now we're going to be filling this canister up with water. Same procedure, once you get down to the water, look down as far as you can, and fill this up. And believe it or not, this is going to take about five minutes to fill up, so with the power and the magic of editing, just imagine I've been sat here with me plums in the water, filling this up while staying on duty. Making sure there's nobody about. Let's move on to the next stage. So here we are. You don't need to be Einstein to realise what we're actually going to... Ah! Oi! What ah! the... 
This is what I'm talking about. This is get back, ah. bastard. You're not having me cauliflowers. Me prize cauliflowers. Ah. Oh, ah. bloody spuds. Have some of this. These bloody gardeners, world knobheads. Coming in here, trying to ruin my prize pumpkins. Have some of this. I'll show you. you don't call me Wurzel Gummidge for no. Get back, you bastard! Get back! Nobody's getting their hands on my carrot. Right. Situation dealt with, I think. Let's just make sure that these green-fingered nerds are down. How dare you, sir! In the middle of a highly educational documentary programme here on growing spuds. This is disgraceful behaviour! <coughs> I'm sorry about that, viewers. We shall continue, but as I mentioned, always be told up. You never know who's going to want to ruin your garden and get their hands on your turnips. Well, let's move on to the next stage. As I was mentioning, <coughs> after that slight interruption there, we will be putting the water onto said seeds. And uh, in fact, what we might want to do is we might want to put the seeds down first. You see, I'm getting myself all flummoxed here. We have some various seed types here, but the actual process is not going to change depending on what you're planting here. The actual difference will be the croppage, and I shall show you that as we get into the next stage. I'm sure you don't need me to show you me planting these seeds, but we're going to put a mixture down here of plants, marijuana, yes you heard me, marijuana, and some pumpkins. So that is the process. Get your seeds down, and then we shall do some watering. Enough said, really. Put the water on the seeds and then get rid of your jerry can. And if you want to take your head off and have a supper some more moonshine, well, that's possible as well. Bloody hell. I'm not standing on my crops. Thanks. So there you go. We are becoming self sufficient. We've actually watered, seeded, limed, and looked after them. As you can see, the crop is already starting to grow. And these crops now, we're going to have to go on guard duty and make sure that nobody comes in here. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to have a little snooze and I shall come back to... Well, that was a quick snooze. I shall come back to you in f instantly. So here we are. The crop is now about to grow. And yes, we have got a variety of vegetables here and drugs. And the process really is not that difficult once you've got all the bits together. And you can, of course, do this directly in a greenhouse. It doesn't affect the speed of growth or anything like that. But in my testing, it takes around 10 minutes for these to grow before you can start actually picking them. So once you've actually got the crop growing, you don't really need to get into crop rotation. I was going to make some jokes and tell you about some more in-depth aspects that you need to do, but you really don't. So get picking these, get storing them, put them in a barrel somewhere, put them in your base and this is a self-sufficient way that you're never going to have to worry about going out and getting food again. Of course, if it rains, that is a big advantage. Now, the actual process for picking these fruit and whether they wither, I haven't noticed anything like that. Some people have told me that they actually do, other people have said they don't. So it probably will be an aspect that's on the particular server that you're on. So once you've picked the fruit and you've got all the other bits out, well... You're going to have to find that aspect for yourself. Now, as you can see in front of me, yes, you can grow drugs on the particular AWAF or BAWAF server that I play on. The traders will take a lot of this in for some big moolah. But how are you going to get the drugs to the trader? Well, you're going to have to discover and work that bit out for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like me to continue in the wonderful world of DayZ, or if there's anything you'd like me to cover, fishing, hunting, PvP, anything in the world, let me know because they say you learn by teaching. And I'm actually learning quite a lot. I can't even speak now. See, at the end of the video, can't speak. I've actually learned quite a lot within the DayZ world. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video coming real soon.